excited. Two of my favorite Johns are going to be on here in just a little while. Obviously, yes. you're one of them. You're right yes. over there, John. Yes, indeed. But uh, the great, truly a treasure, John yes. Turturro is going to be out here in just a little while. Hey! And uh, from CNN, I've known this man for many years, John Avlon is going to be on here. Yes. Yes. Book about Lincoln. That's great. And the fight for peace yes. after the Civil War. Sure. John, you know what I saw on Saturday night? I saw... The Music Man. The at Music the Man. Theater, yes. Right down the street from here. And the thing about it, one of the reasons why it felt so great to see this musical, and by the way, everyone go see this musical, it is like we would all be healed as a nation if we would all just go see this musical. Yes. It's not telling you anything. <laughs> it's just telling you a good story, trying to make you feel good. Yes. But you know, we were in this building on and off for two, how long were we out of this building? We are out of the building for five months, and then in this building for another 15 months without, in a little room, and I was in my office part of the time, and I looked out the window, and every day I would look at the Music Man marquee mm -hmm. right down the oh, street yeah, here. Right yeah. The entire world shut down two weeks before they were supposed to open two years ago. And they just opened on, like, February 10th or something like that. And going to see it really felt like very, very helpful, hopeful. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's one of the reasons why the audience was just so lit and the mm -hmm. cast was so joyful, mm -hmm. is that we, it, they felt like, okay, this was like an emergence, like coming out of hibernation or something. And I right. hope we can all celebrate in public together without masks, hugging without fear soon. Um, Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. There, I said it. 100%. Where do I find the courage? You know, folks, if you watch the show, you know I spent a lot of time right over there combing through the day's big stories, selecting the finest news tenors and the silkiest sopranos. Then I brush up on the works of Cervantes and find the perfect sweet spot between drama, humor, and opera to compose for you the timeless and seductive Spanish zarzuela that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I wake up in the freezer of a combination Taco Bell Pizza Hut on the expressway and I... <laughs> Cut a pair of leg holes under to a potato sack and race barefoot into the city to break into an abandoned dollar store where I fashion a pair of castanets from defective chattering teeth toys. <laughs> then I down a jerry can full of Red Bull and cough medicine before staggering into a public park to disturb tourists with the Drifter's Flamenco Showcase of News that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is coming down the street. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> supply chain problems just got worse for car buyers because a cargo ship full of luxury cars is on fire and adrift in the middle of the Atlantic. So either a terrible industrial accident or they're filming the new sequel, The Fast and the Furious, Too Wet to Flaming. <laughs> As for the buyers of those autos, Porsche says that customers with cars on board the burning ship are being contacted by their dealers. I'd love to hear that call. Uh, hello, yeah, Mr. Johnson, remember how you declined the uh, protective undercoating? <laughs> I got some bad news, buddy. <laughs> Meanwhile, ever since the New York Times bought Wordle a few weeks ago, players have been afraid that the game would change, and it has. Because now there's a slew of ad tracking tech on a game once lauded for having none at all. In other words, Wordle is watching you. <laughs> Fine, whatever. But if it's watching, can it pitch in and tell me if the O isn't the second letter, but it's also not the third letter? How could it not be ocean? Say something! <laughs> I don't know, Chris. Meanwhile, an auction house in New York has a piece of sports memorabilia on the block, a cigar that Michael Jordan smoked with a starting bid of $500. It's like that old saying, one man's trash is another man's $500 trash. <laughs> Meanwhile, a raccoon fell through the ceiling into a packed LSU dining hall. <laughs> <laughs> and a totally unrelated story, tomorrow's dining hall special is Ceiling Meat Jambalaya. <laughs> ceiling ah! Meat. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the internet is very excited about today being 2222. <laughs> See? Oh, See? Very excited. Yeah. 
because it's a palindrome, and this one is especially rare because it landed on a Tuesday, and is therefore being called Tuesday. <laughs> the last time this happened was 400 years ago in 1622 when they called it Satan's Alignment, and every village burnt two redheads to save the crops. There was even a website. There's even a website out there some folks have been following named World Tuesday with the message, let's make it a day of taking care of ourselves. What do you do to make it a good day for yourself? Yoga, reading, see a good friend, spending time in nature? Me, I'm gonna go home and binge euphoria while eating an entire Kroger sheet cake. <laughs> or as I call it, Tuesday. <laughs> well... Well, in honor of Tuesday, Tonight's Meanwhile is brought to you by the number two. And we have a very special guest. Come out and say hello to everybody. The number two, everybody. Yeah. Are you ready to party? Hey, two. Get it? Two, 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 two. What's up, Steve? Let's light this candle. Well, hello, uh, two. You certainly do seem to be enjoying the day. I've had two fists of bourbon, two bottles of Adderall I stole from uh, two different pharmacies, and two lovers. It was six and nine. La, 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 la. <laughs> Guys, tonight we're gonna party like it's two, two, twenty-two. Woo! I want a fist fight, a stop sign! Okay, that's, that's not the tone that I was expecting, uh, number two. You're, you're, you're going pretty hard there. I'm gonna make those prudes at Sesame Street regret firing me. I haven't been this blasted since I hung with number three on March 3rd, 1333. We stole an ox cart and crashed it into a blacksmith. That chick is sketch AF. Stole my boyfriend. Do not lend her money. More pills! So, don't, don't encourage her. So do, 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 do you maybe think you should take it a little easier? Shut up, Steve. This is my time. You said it yourself. This hasn't happened since the 17th century. I haven't gotten laid in 400 years. Ask me who it was. Look, I, I, it's really none of my Galileo. business. Galileo! That telescope wasn't the only thing that expands. He went to town on this. Woo! Oh, oh, woo! Well, I'm, glad you're ha I'm glad you're having fun, too, but I, I heard today is supposed to be about self-care. This is self-care. I'm celebrating me for once. My name is synonymous with taking a dump. And I come second at literally everything. Why? Oh, because of you know who. I'm number one. You were born into it. Screw her. Let's make out. No, 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 then thank you. Fight me. I can't be killed. The number Woo! two, everybody. We'll be right back with John. <laughs>